Hello and welcome, my name is Meeples, they, she, he, and this is Literally Graphic. And today we are looking at the German graphic biography, Knockout, the true story of Emil Griffith by Reinhard Kleist, and translated by Michael Waller. Concluding essay on race and sexuality in boxing by Tashana Egeling. Originally published in 2019, this English edition was published by Self Made Hero in 2021. Content notes for sex, nudity, homophobic slurs, boxing, and boxing fatality. Born in Cologne, Reinhard Kleist studied graphic design before moving to Berlin and starting work as a cartoonist. Knockout is not his first biography comic. Kleist's translated work also includes biographies of Elvis and Johnny Cash. He's also done a number of other sports biographies, specifically including books about boxer Harry Haft and Samia Yusuf Omar. Keywords that came to mind while reading this book, boxing, civil rights, regrets, hats, and love. The Goodreads description is, quote, The American boxing champion Emil Griffith gained notoriety in 1962 when he brutally defeated the Cuban fighter Benny Perret. Ten days after the fight, Perret, who had directed a homophobic slur at Griffith during the weigh-in, died from his injuries. In Knockout, Reinhard Kleist draws a powerful emotive portrait of a bisexual African-American athlete who, facing racism and homophobia in 1960s America, found success in the world of boxing. It's the story of a fierce and ambitious fighter and a knockout blow that ended one life and changed a second forever. As far as the writing goes, I would generally say it was pretty interesting and well done. Obviously, as a generally not sportsy person, I was not aware of Emil Griffith before picking up this book, so I am at the mercy of Kleist's depiction. But again, as a not sportsy person, I found the story really compelling and page-turning. The art certainly helped keep me engrossed, dramatic, black and white, with lots of interesting shadow work. No cross-hatching in sight, but I'll live. The cover is also unique and intense in a way that made it a must-pick-up. A person at the point of several intersections, sexuality, gender, and race, were all very important to this book. Starting with sexuality, there are a couple of things at play here. For one, the narrative of the book did make me feel somewhat uncomfortable about the use of the term bisexual, but doing more research into how Griffith self-identified at different points even later in life when he became more open about his sexuality to push back against the stereotypes of his profession, he did identify as a bisexual. As it doesn't seem like Kleist limited himself to just reciting facts, I feel like he could have probably set up the narrative so it didn't feel like bisexuality is a person who is really just attracted to one gender but finds themselves pressured to be in relationship with another gender as many gay and lesbian people have been over the last century. Because your sexuality is not just a tally of, of the genders of people you have ever had sex with. That said, his marriage did in fact not last that long, and I did appreciate that at least in the book, his wife, Mercedes Donestrog, was not put off by his attraction to men. I really appreciated the opportunity to dive into a historical queer experience, not one who got involved in either racial or sexual civil rights. This was a story a step outside of what I've generally read, which proved super interesting. Gender felt like the next most emphasized part of both the story and the follow-up essay. The juxtaposition, for example, of being a hat designer and a boxer really pushed against any box you would want to put Griffith in. There was a lot of racial diversity in the book as well as people coming from many other countries to come together around boxing. While not outlined as clearly as the previous three intersections, ability and disability were somewhat implicated in the way that Kleist depicts Griffith, with boxing being a sport that takes a high level of physical ability that breaks down both your body and mind. And while Griffith's material conditions went up and down with his success as a boxer, I felt like class was de-emphasized as a focus. Very easy and fast-paced, with a higher proportion of action scenes than I generally like, this book has lingered in my mind long after I finished it. Four out of five stars would recommend. Bye y'all, keep reading an organized and capitalist depression. And Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional landholders which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anamishnabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.